Welcome to The Know, I'm Mika. I'm John. If there's one thing we've learned from watching the video game industry, it's that game development isn't all fun and games. Two major AAA game developers had to release statements this weekend denying a separate set of rumors and allegations, one over sexual harassment and one over poor treatment of its employees. Yeah, these two statements come from Witcher series and Cyberpunk 2077 developer CD Projekt Red and Uncharted and Last of Us developer Naughty Dog, with the former responding to workplace morale and the latter responding to allegations of not only sexual harassment, but also cover up money to keep the whole thing quiet. Well, yikes. This will be fun. Super. So let's start with CD Projekt Red. This company's recently come under some intense scrutiny thanks to reports that the employees, former and current, are a bit unhappy with how they've been treated, particularly during crunch. These rumors started making the rounds thanks to the developer's Glassdoor reviews. If you don't know what Glassdoor is, it's probably because you haven't had a shitty job yet. But it's basically like Yelp for employees or prospective employees. You leave reviews of the company, including ratings based on salary, whether or not you approve the CEO, etc. Lately, CD Projekt Red's Glassdoor page has taken a bit of a turn. It's now down to a 3.1 on the five point scale with several negative reviews claiming working for the company is chaos, a waste of time and energy, bad for your mental health, and without direction, none of those are good things. No, most of the time when these kind of things happen, companies generally don't say too much about it. For instance, Telltale has a 3.1 on Glassdoor as well with people calling it poorly managed and Rockstar San Diego sits at an abysmal 1.8 eight on the site yeah. with employees writing that your family will suffer if you work there. That's not good. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> However, that wasn't the case with CD Projekt Red, who decided to release a full statement about the morale this morning on Twitter. CEO Marcin Iwinski and studio head Adam Badowski sort of addressing the complaints. The statement said, we are continuously working on making Red a good workplace for everyone, but we also have a set of values that constitutes who we are and how we do things. They went on to say, it's natural for companies to lose employees after big projects, and that none of these me departures means the next game is in any kind of development trouble. They went on to say that most of their projects they undertake seem impossible at first, but simply require a lot of commitment. The studio heads wrote, the approach to making games is not for everyone. It often requires a conscious effort to reinvent the wheel, even if you personally think it already works like a charm. But you know what? We believe reinventing that wheel every friggin' time is what makes a better game. And you know, that's that's all well and good, but none of it really comments on the actual morale of the company and what steps they take to ensure a healthy working environment. Instead, it seems like more of an assurance that Cyberpunk's 2077 is gonna be awesome, even if lots of former employees hate us now. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good priority, bro. Mm -mm. Uh, but that wasn't the only non-committal statement that we got out of the games industry this week. So let's get to the reason you probably clicked on this video anyway. Naughty Dog, who released a statement about sexual harassment allegations in the workplace. Those allegations kicked up on Twitter over the weekend from a former developer, environmental artist, David Ballard, who worked for the company between 2009 and 2014, and then again in 2016 as a multiplayer level designer. In a series of tweets, Ballard said were inspired by the many women coming out and sharing stories of sexual harassment and assault recently, he wrote that he was sexually harassed by a former lead at Naughty Dog. Ballard went on to say the stress from this led to a mental breakdown in February of 2016, which then caused PlayStation HR to become involved in the situation. According to Ballard, he told PlayStation about the harassment and then they ended the phone call, fired him the next day, and offered him a $20,000 severance package if he agreed to the termination and signed an NDA. He's been unemployed for 17 months since. Considering the climate right now about sexual harassment due to the huge outpouring of stories about Hollywood executive Harvey Weinstein, it should be no surprise that Naughty Dog decided to act quickly on these allegations and release a statement. The company wrote, we have recently read on social media that an ex-employee of Naughty Dog, Dave Ballard, claims he was sexually harassed when he worked at Naughty Dog. We have not found any evidence of having received allegations from Mr. Ballard that he was harassed in any way at Naughty Dog or Sony Interactive Entertainment. The statement went on to say, harassment and inappropriate conduct have no place at Naughty Dog and Sony Interactive Entertainment. We have taken and always will take reports of sexual harassment and other workplace grievances very seriously. We value every single person who works at Naughty Dog and Sony interactive entertainment. It is of utmost importance to us that we maintain a safe, productive workplace environment that allows us all to channel our shared passion for making games. 
We're not gonna get into whether or not one side should be believed versus the other, but we are going to look at the content of the statement because there are a couple of important things it doesn't say. Namely, it doesn't say that the claims didn't happen. While the statement is making a denial of the allegations, it's denying that Naughty Dog or Sony received any official complaint from Ballard, not that Ballard didn't receive that treatment. They'll probably leave that up to courts to decide if the matter actually makes it that far. Considering these statements are often carefully crafted by legal departments to leave companies lots of wiggle room, a flat out denial that there is any evidence of complaints probably means that claim is fairly rock solid, since it could be easily disproven. All Ballard would need is an email or a record of the meeting with HR, but since Naughty Dog is saying none of those exist, that probably is the case. Now, that doesn't mean that the claims didn't happen, and unfortunately for Ballard, doesn't leave him in a good spot. If his story is true and these things did actually happen, again, that's not for us to decide one way or another, there's a chance he doesn't have any record of them. Not very many victims, especially while in that situation, may think about keeping a properly documented paper trail. And regrettably, this is why victims of sexual harassment don't often come forward in the first place. When it comes down to a one person's word over the other in the court of law, the side with more money for lawyers is probably going to end up walking away clean. Whatever the case, we hope more in the gaming industry, similar to what we're seeing in the film industry, come forward with their stories. On Naughty Dog's side, if these meetings did happen with Sony HR over the phone and Sony didn't make a written record of it, Naughty Dog might not be aware of those complaints ever actually happening. Hopefully both sides of this are doing their due diligence to clean it up and justice is found either way. Although Naughty Dog's statement, which came fairly quickly, seems pretty final on the matter. Hey, what do you guys think of CD Projekt Red and Naughty Dog's statements? Did they go far enough to address each situation? Let us know in the comments and please keep it civil. For more reports from the biggest developers in the industry, remember to like this video and if you're new around here, subscribe to the now. The companies recently come under some intense scrutiny thanks to reports that the employees, former and current, are a bit unhappy with how they've been treated, particular, particularly. Uh. Badowski? Is that. Marcin Iwinski and Adam Badowski? Where yeah. the fuck are these people from? Poland.